Good morning to you all. Get on it. Get on it. Patrick's failed dismally. <laughs> Too long in the tooth. Okay, sugar can Okay, we want to find out if there's any sugar cane juice. Sorry, any sugar cane juice? So it's all a given tableland. We have beautiful rich soils. Some sugar cane is grown there, although most of the soils there are used to grow all sorts of crops, fruits and vegetables. Very tropical. Very tropical. We may see a show. They actually have a very good show there called Breakfast with the Birds. How long have you got here? Uh, early, in the early 30s. Before this road was built, all the tracks north of Cairns, so it's been great plans lately. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's too early in the morning, please. Oh, my dad, I'm not Dolly Parton Island. Oh, that's right. I have a good time to study. But um, Palm Cove is it's quite a bit of fishing goes on here. Oh, okay. May well see some gliders there this summer. Take off from here and land down on the beach there at Wangetti Beach. So that's called the Rex Lookout. There are basically two seasons. Uh, two seasons, wet and dry. Again, it's not. It's only for the beach. To be asked to fly right now, this guy. Sorry, is it too too bad? Is this uh, news? Yes. We are getting now. You all know that we have the stingers here in the area. Next month will be all netted, so they are unsafe to swim at. Good. And that's just to make it one safe area for you to swim. Um, and that, that goes from November through till about May, which is basically our wet season, which is when the, they come in cool off, they just fade back out again. So the stingers, they can put a terrible sting, they're a smaller type of stinger. They can actually keep the winter time, like from, from June through till about October, not far off it now, it's safe uh, to come in. So to our right. The original site of Smithfield was actually washed away after two wet seasons and was moved back in here a bit closer to higher ground. Suburbs from Jabakai to the Skyrail. But I will be there in case there's any confusion. I'll create a crocodile. Many girls. 
Where are you going to the network?
foot pace. It's not the cassowary. The cassowary is the large, frightened bird. He lives here in the rainforest of Crown of Queensland. The cassowary is a symbol of the Jabba people. In our language, for this bird, Bundara. This stand is of the Volga. The Volga is a bird similar to the crane. The Volga, he flies high in the sky. He's in search of water and a place to rest. Sort karna ko. Sort karna ko be. Very nice. The last one. Second, 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 Chalo, 
each and every town, a person a mistake, a person bully jai. It, it cannot... Uh... Right. All forest. You can get down from here too. And they put a gondola down And they put a gondola on the top. This is a nice picture. Yeah. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Okay. And then nice one also very nice. It's very tall. Thick. Thick. Shade loving plant. Yeah. Yeah, so much depth, I think. God 
to create so much for the and uh -huh. that's really wonderful you can do both right things right. together right. Music and explore the music. You can also 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 explore the music. Mostly government by the way, Karin Hammond by Manaki, Bobby and I have a month and medicine by Javano to Tamanana Keta. We could now use Kuranaka and a little Hopkins Mamut Kato. A medicine book, it looks a medicine by Japan and not to joke. Yeah, take a longer to. Oh, I know. This is a nice picture to Taradia. Oh, Now we're in an older time.
summer day method. Because this looks it's like it's seven it. perfect flowers for our butterflies. Now it's red, white and hot pink. Now this is the red bullseye. That bullseye that guides them straight down to the nectar. Put up so tight. So instead, nature designed them with a very only laid their eggs on the right plant to feed their babies on. Here's the orchard butterfly. The baby's very fussy. They only eat citrus. Now they're so fussy that if she tried to lay her eggs on the wrong plant, her babies will hatch out, smell the plant, know that it's not the right plant to eat, and would rather sit there and starve to death than to eat the wrong type of plant. That's how critical host plants are. Now to do this, I always recommend going to a local library book on butterflies. The library book will always tell you where those butterflies come from. Now if they do come from your area, it will also do them is sit back and enjoy. Because these very own gardens are even my own garden. I still use flowers. I would not even even consider doing the feeders. And that's because I couldn't guarantee I'd be able to change them. Now what I first would like to quickly talk about, I would like to talk about their lifespan, this massive urban myth that's actually spread around the whole world. If you do believe this, I'm very happy to say it's not true. Butterflies can live anywhere in a few days. Some butterflies can live right up. Butterflies' wing is made from thousands and thousands. They're very, very delicate. But butterflies mainly protect themselves through colour. Now, did you know that our innate ever know about? If you have children or grandchildren, please make sure they know about red orange and yellow. Now I'd like to introduce you to our big so completely harmless to us. But to a predator who wants to eat that big can's bird wing, they are very, very poisonous. Poisonous is this to birds and predators. How smart is that? Now when that caterpillar goes through the most they can't. Because they're birds favourite colour and what happens here is they have a warning colour, so red, orange and yellow. I don't Everybody is good. The Baju is between Baju. Two Chalia. All right. Yar kisi se hota hai, dil mein hota hai, tab ne hola kabe.
जागो जागो बॉम्बे ओके राइट लता वन टू एंड थ्री राइट हाँ एकदम निकल
or bridge. ये बैठा थे How long will we be waiting in the boat? Uh, the, the boat trip's about an hour and a half each way. Marina Mirage. All right. Hello. Hello. How are you? We're good. And your last name, sir? Rana Ariane. Thank you very much. Boat. Transport passenger.
Should you need our assistance? <laughs> <laughs> These people are getting ready to go for snorkeling. <laughs> Yeah, 
तो यहाँ पे रेल में चला राइट यहाँ अरुण भाजी के अंदर गुप्त हिंदू चाचा भाजी एक बार चाचा चाचा भाजी आ गई Very good, very good, very good. Smile, carry the way.
snorkeling under this area. Hi. You got it? Okay. Wow, it's a good luck. Have fun. <laughs> Come to it up and Majavi guy. I'm actually snorkeling Matalia. Hello. Yeah. 
just for these sorts of purposes. I mean, this is a national park zone. There's no fishing allowed here. We can come snorkeling, scuba diving. We can go for a cruise in a semi-submersible around the lagoon just to enjoy these reefs, just for their sheer beauty. And it's nice that we can afford to put some of our reefs aside just for those sorts of purposes. And these are the typical coral colours, yellow, green, brown and blue. You don't see a lot of red coral on the Great Barrier Reef. And remember of course that if you do see a red coral out there, it doesn't look red. We're looking at coral through seawater under natural daylight conditions. Now, under those situations, right, seawater is a natural colour filter. It filters out the red origin in the end of the spectrum, right? So when you're looking at these corals, if there is a coral out there that's kind of a pinky red colour, it's like looking at that coral through a blue-green filter. Now, if you mix, if you look at something red through a blue-green filter, what sort of colour do you see? Well, you see sort of a purpley brown. And they're the sorts of colours you see under that. Remember too that everything looks a little bit closer or a little bit bigger than it actually is. The physics of light 